we're here at the Long Beach Expo. It's a collectible show. And it turns out it's also one of the largest coin collection expo show things in the world. So, or so I'm told. And some of the biggest coin collectors are, are here right now. And I don't know anything about that world, but it's kind of cool to see other people into you know their particular hobby, which for them it's collecting money. <laughs> but let's go see if we can find some Pokemon anywhere. I feel like if I see even a tiny amount of it, I have to buy it. Alrighty. Got our work cut out for us. Right, there's a sports section. I'm slightly more familiar with sports. I feel like if I even see one Pokemon card, I have to buy it. <laughs> it's gonna be a million dollar card. Speaking of... Enough. I think I found a Pikachu card I don't have. <laughs> it's a common. Five dollars. I will take it for five dollars. <laughs> I have a Pikachu that I don't have in my collection, funnily enough. Hey, hey let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the one booth that has Pokemon, we did it. I know, right? Alright. Alright, time to go. Okay. Surely we can find one more. One more booth of Pokemon. Alright, I see one. There we go. Pineapple collectibles. Wait a minute. That's pretty sick. Oh, they yeah. have the good stuff. They actually have everything. They even have like the Kanazawa Pikachu, the Marnie box, the Brock box, they have the like, box. Uh, and they have basically like basically all of Japanese. And they have like every Japanese box that's ever existed. Their crown scene is 55. That's not bad. That's real good. Well, that's MSRP. That's new MSRP. They have, uh, they have V-Star Universe, Shiny Star V. Their V-Star Universe is 105. 105? Yeah, it's the cheapest. I've seen it. It's cheaper than tops. I know, right? <laughs> like what? Like what? The mystery packs? Wait, mystery packs? <laughs> I think we gotta get a mystery pack. You pick one, dude. I pick one? Yeah, pick oh, one. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. Which one? This one calls to me. Okay. Are you guys gonna open it? Yeah. You open it, yeah. Alright, what are, what are even in these mystery packs? I guess there's a mystery, right? <laughs> Alright, come on! Chilling right in battle styles. Alright. <laughs> now, is the way battle styles is going? That's $10. That's probably one of, like, the not best bags. Okay. <laughs> uh, $10? $10? Oh, yes! $10! Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and and I got another Battle Styles. styles. Nice. Yo, if all these guys were worth. Yeah, crack those open. <laughs> yeah, open up all these guys. I gotta open this one. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's go. Umbreon. 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 It's funny. We we, came, we found out about the show like two days ago. We're like, oh, we'll come here. We'll go see if there's Pokemon. It's the wrong show. <laughs> we found you. Yeah. <laughs> nah. It's okay though. It's okay. It's okay. You're welcome. What kind of blisters do you have over there? you go lower on this at all? Uh, okay. I'm not sure, it's up to my boss. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, ask me. Go go any lower on this. Uh, I'll take 20 bucks off. Alright, thanks. Let's do it. Sweet. Okay. Alright. All right. I've been eyeing this at Frankenstein's forever. Oh, there Is we that go. the one that you want? I have both of them. Oh, you have both of them? Yeah. yeah. Be an Aqua Team or a Magma Team? I bought the I bought like Groudon or I bought Ruby when it came out, so I gotta go with oh, this one. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Here, I'll go. Let me just take this. Here, put this on that one then. <laughs> we really are the only boost with Pokemon. We'll stop. We'll stop. Product, product, product yeah. All right, we'll, we'll walk around. What's that? Oh, work. We do. It's <laughs> so generous. It's TM32. Subscribe. And make sure y'all subscribe.
TM32 on <laughs> Thank you. Oh, he actually did. Thanks. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony. I think we've uh, extinguished all the things that could be done at this event. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is way more than I thought we could do at this event. Okay, so. to be fair, that's true. All right. A lot, lot bigger. But Jen, uh, actually though, I do want to see some of these coins. <laughs> so let's take a look at some of these expensive coins. If you think your Pokemon collection is more expensive, there's some coin collector out there with twice the value. <laughs> And that's a generous number. And that's a generous number. <laughs> but I think it's uh, I think it's cool that people like to collect different things, and that does include coins. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. I don't know how much this pebble thing. But I probably trucked into a lake when I was like eight. Well, it is one from the sea. <laughs> Right, some of these coins are older than the U.S. It's older than this country. Yes, sir. And it's worth more. And it's worth more than the country. <laughs> oh gosh. Because these don't have debts. That's true. Look at that. This one's an error too. It turns out so it doesn't have even money has errors. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know what that guy asked, but I was walking by a booth and they're like, what's the sticker price of whatever? I'm, I'm assuming it's a bank note, and they're like 65000 Oh my god. Well, that wraps up our uh, collectible show experience. I was hoping to find more trading cards, but you know what? It's okay. It's still cool to see a bunch of very expensive things I won't be able to afford because $100,000 for a piece of metal is pretty brutal. Yes, technically, a car is $100,000 for a piece of metal, depending on the car you buy.